Hola, teacher, soy Carlos Chávez. Este, voy ahorita en el carro, ya, ya casi llego a la casa, pero ya estoy conectado para que me tome la lista. Oye, aquí voy ahorita. Hello, what's wrong? What's up? What's up? Hello, everybody. Buenas noches, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Hola, William. Teacher. Dice que voy ahorita manejando por salir noche a trabajar. Quizás Ajá. unos quizá unas 30 minutos, 40 minutos aproximadamente. Voy a ir así. Uh, ok, all right, it's okay. Pero sí, voy a, ir, voy a estar pendiente ahorita de, de la clase, aunque sea como bien. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. Pero, so, so you're on your way home. home. Carlos Chávez, te voy manejando ahorita para la casa, que ah, casi you llego. Too, you too, ok, ok, no problem, no problem. Drive carefully. Vayan con cuidado, no se preocupen. All right, so that's... Hola, that's cool. Hello, hello, Jonathan. Hello. Welcome to this video conference. All right, let me see. Ah, okay, Michelle. All right, no problem. Now you're on the bus. Okay, all right, all right, no problem. All right, so everybody's... <laughs> Okay. No sé si me escuchó, pero como no escucho nada lo que me dijo, please. I am, Carlos. I, I listen to you, no problem, right? I listen to you that you're driving, right? Eh, que va conduciendo todavía. Thank you, thank you. All right, no problem. Okay, okay, Michelle, no problem. Right, if you're in the bus, it's, it's, it's better to, to, to go that way, right? Okay, no problem. All right, people, so good evening, everybody. Buenas noches a todos, uh, bienvenidos a, y bienvenidos básicamente a esta última videoconferencia de la semana, right? Basically, with this videoconference, we are finishing week number one, right? So that's, that's like kind of fast. I think it's like, like pretty fast. Pues vamos un poquito acelerados, un poquito rápidos, right? Básicamente ya con esta terminamos la primera semana y no se van a hacer falta tres. So today what we're going to have is just a general feedback from the main topics that we have been discussing, you know, during the week. Basically, we're going to be discussing the four main topics that we were discussing like during the week. Mm, this is going to be mainly about practice. Okay, this is going to be mostly practice because it's, you know, like it's really important to practice the topic. So in that way, we can keep up with uh, uh, the rhythm, right? So we can get more fluency at the moment of speaking, at the moment of making questions, or even at the moment of um, saying sentences, especially in simple present in affirmative and negative statements and all those things, right? So that's the class focused about tonight, right? So basically it's just going to be uh, practice, feedback and practice. We're gonna review some examples. You're gonna do uh, a series of examples. And uh, I think we have a, com a pending conversation in the, mod in the manual, right? So we're gonna have that one Probably after a short practice, we're gonna have that one conversation, you know, like just 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 for us to practice more. I think it's just related to how much and how many. But before starting with those things, I'm gonna start with the attendance list, right? So let's start over. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Ah, okay, you're there. Thank you, Mister. Let's see, Cindy Melanie. Cindy Melanie, is it here? Not yet. All right, Elby Quintanilla. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's move. Stephanie Michel, I am in Michel, todavía va en el, en el bus. Uh, Gustavo Adolfo. Gustavo Adolfo, all right, he's not there. Let's move. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let's start with Jose Antonio. Present. 
Ah, ok. Nice. José Edgar. All right, José Edgar is not, not there yet. Ok. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel, not here. Ok, let's continue. Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok. You're there. Let's continue. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. Julio Cesar. Present. Ok, perfect. Karen Beatriz. Present. Very nice. Luis Gerardo. Present. Ah, ok, good. Let's move Veronica Arely. Veronica. Present. Ah, ok, very good. Present. Ok, perfect, Veronica. Uh, Wendy Jamilet. Present. Ah, ok, excellent. William Ernesto. Yeah, I mean, William is driving. Okay. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present, present teacher. Ok, William, thank you. Xiomara. <laughs> Mara Elizabeth, is he here? Okay, he's not here. Let's keep going. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's move Carlos Jose. I am in his driving yet. Oh, uh, good teacher, understand. present. Okay, cool. And the last one, Soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. So that's the end that we're going to have for, uh, for tonight. Okay, cool. Probably the rest uh, are yet on traffic or probably they haven't got home yet. But with the ones that are here, we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight, okay? Uh, as I told you today, it's just basically a general feedback from the four main topics that we were discussing, all right, uh, during the week. And the topics that we were discussing during the week, if you remember, they were related to simple present. Then on Monday, we were practicing simple present affirmative statements, okay? On Tuesday, if you remember, what were we practicing on Tuesday? Let's see if you remember. Let's see if you remember. What was the central topic that we were practicing on the Monday? On Monday, it was affirmative statements, right? But what about uh, Tuesday? Present simple. Uh -huh. time exactly. Right? We were discussing the time expressions, expressiones de tiempo. Okay? That was the main topic that we were discussing on Tuesday. Okay, what about Wednesday? Uh -huh. What about Wednesday? What was the topic that we were discussing on Wednesday? Que por cierto se nos extendió uf, bastante. The Ajá, yeah, I mean, we were practicing the activities on, on Wednesday. Ajá, uh -huh. but the main topic was, remember, how much? Um, how many? Exactly, how much and how many. Thank you, Jorge, right? So those are the things that we were practicing, right? Uh, and it was like kind of interesting, yeah, because we were practicing, you know, like questions and answers with those type of structures. All right, and yesterday we ended up talking about the simple present, but in negative statements, okay? In negative statements. So let's start over with those reviews, right? After those reviews, we're gonna keep on doing uh, a series of examples just to practice more, a little bit of those things. And that's basically what we are going to have during the class. Let's start over. Give me one second. All right. So this is like the one, right? So welcome again. This is the video conference number five. And today's topic is going to be simple present review and practice. Okay. 
So basically what we're gonna be doing is just remembering the main topics that we were discussing and practicing them, right? Through examples, through questions, through answers, right? Through affirmative statements, through negative statements, etc. So this is like how we are going to be working, like, you know, the rest of the class. Cool, let's keep going. So the most relevant for tonight's class, we're gonna have the review from the previous topics. Vamos a tener igual el repaso general de todos los temas, right? Uh, we're gonna start with the affirmative statements, you know? Vamos a comenzar con las oraciones afirmativas, like the easiest ones that we were practicing on Monday. Yeah. Then after that, we're gonna be practicing the negative statements, right? Luego vamos a ver las oraciones negativas. Igual, primera persona, eh, plurales y terceras personas, right? The one that we were practicing last class. And then we're going to see the time expressions, you know. And at the end, we're going to end up with how much and how many. That's going to be like whole review that we're going to have in this week, okay? So let's start over. It says affirmative statements. All right. Cuando nos referimos a oraciones afirmativas, especially in simple present. Okay. When do we use them or what do we use them for? Let's just start over with that. All right. Cuando creamos oraciones afirmativas, especialmente en el presente simple, Okay. ¿En qué momento nosotros podemos utilizar una oración afirmativa? ¿O para qué propósito? Do you remember the uses of simple present? The ones that we were practicing? Any volunteer? ¿Algún voluntario? Ah, ok, cool. That's one. That's one. All right. Generalmente cuando hablamos en presente simple es para mencionar nuestras rutinas diarias la mayoría de veces, right? Especially when we do those activities every day, right? Every single day. Sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes during the work, right? Eh, but they are like routinary. All right. Let's start over with the structure of this. Vamos a comenzar hablando un poco sobre la estructura igual. Esto es algo que ya estuvimos viendo, but it's important for us, you know, to remember. All right. This is like the easiest way how we can talk about the simple present affirmative statements. Uh, talking about the structure. Why? Because in the structure, we just need three things. The subject. Let's remember, the subject can be any, any, any pronoun or any proper noun. Then after the subject, what goes there? Ah, it goes the verb, right? The verb is the one that indicates the action of the sentence, okay? And then we need the complement. What do we need the complement for? Remember, the complement basically is the one that tells you what you are talking about right that's what it tells you what you're talking about we got one example in here if you say i like my job right so in this case that's why it's really important the complement as i told you because it, it makes the this example more specific why more specific because it's it, because in this case if you have only i like aha uh -huh, but you need a complement, right? Entonces, si solo decimos, ah, me gusta. Sí, pero, ¿qué nos gusta? Right? Entonces, por eso es bien importante el complemento. ¿Por qué? Porque nos da la, 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 la forma más específica sobre lo que estamos hablando. Ah, sí, ya, ya es diferente si yo digo, right? Ah, me gusta mi trabajo. Like, I like my job. Ya, yeah, para los que les gusta, right? For the ones who, who like the job. Let's move on. Check this, uh, this out. Soila, read this one, please. 
Did you have a meeting? You have meetings, all right? You have meetings. There's a very short example using a positive statement, right? Entonces, estas son oraciones bastante fáciles, bastante sencillas, por así decirlo, right? About things, about things that we generally do, okay, every day. En este caso, pues son bastante cortas las oraciones que tenemos acá, pero están bien estructuradas. ¿Por qué? Porque constan de un subject, constan de un verbo y constan de un complemento, right? Que las hace más específicas. All right. This series of examples are just going to, uh, you know, help us when we like start doing the exercises that we are about to do. So check this out. Gilberto, tell me a reading. They, they repair computer, computer. Okay. All right. They repair computers. There you go. So in that case, Ya no estamos hablando de una sola persona, right? Estamos hablando de varias personas. Para decir, ellos, ellos reparan. Exactly. Reparan exactly, right? Ellos reparan computadora. Aquí estamos hablando, la primera oración, personal, first person. Luego, es a second person example, and then we have a plural example. Te falta la M a computadora, computadora. Jesus Christ. I was sleeping when I was writing that down. Thank you, LB. Hey, you're very... Cautious. Thank you. Elvi, ayúdeme con esa, ya que tenía el micrófono encendido. <laughs> we practice English. All right, we practice English. So, in that case, estamos, nos, nos estamos incluyendo básicamente dentro del grupo, right? Y ahí so, estamos so hablando so. de igual, un plural. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de mí y estoy hablando de todos juntos, básicamente, right? As a group. So, in that case, we generally use those type of pronouns. Let's remember them, okay? Let's remember them. So, cuando ya nos vamos a incluir dentro de un grupo, all right? So, entonces ahí, por lo general, usamos we, right? So, this is just for positive statements, right? Let's remember that. This is mostly for positive statements. Okay, now, what are we going to do with these positive statements? Generally, uh, what we do... It's just to mention the activities that we generally, uh, you know, like, like describe the days. But in this case, we're going to see them like right now in first and plural. And now we got them in third person. Let's remember when we talk about third person examples, we are talking about he, she, sometimes it, or when we mention a singular proper noun, all right? Ya cuando estamos hablando de un nombre propio, es like cuando ya mencionamos el nombre de la persona, right? You, uh, or, or something else. The structure. Check this out. Recordemos que ya en tercera persona si sí el verbo sufre cambios bastante drásticos en algunas ocasiones, okay? Why? Porque ahí va a depender de el tipo de ejemplo que estemos dando, el tipo de verbo que estemos usando, así va a ser la terminación que este verbo va a tener. Let's remember, let's remember, para la mayoría de verbos simplemente se le agrega es en tercera persona, right? But there are some verbs that don't necessarily have, they need an S, they need sometimes ES, right? Or in some cases, IES. So we have to pay attention to those type of things. You know, just, just, just to be sure that you are writing the correct verbs. Like in the examples. Check this out. Uh, Karen, help me out reading this one. She goes to work every day. Ah, okay. So you see, like she goes, right? Ah, porque le agregamos ES al verbo. Recordemos. Porque la regla nos dice que todo verbo que termine en O se le agrega ES, right? We add ES to every verb that ends in O. And especially you use them eh, as singular noun, right? Okay, check this another one. He needs 
a new car. Right? He needs a new car. ¿Puedo reemplazar este pronombre por un nombre propio? Claro que sí. For example, I can say, uh, Gerardo needs a new car. Right? Instead of he, I can replace the word he and put the name Gerardo, right? Gerardo needs a new car. And we got the same, the same structure and everything, right? Cool. Let's keep going. Check this out. In here, the verb changes completely, right? Acá, prácticamente es cuando agregamos ES al verbo. Why? Because it's a verb that ends in a consonant plus Y. Porque es un verbo que termina en consonante más Y, right? Let's remember. Con ese tipo de, 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 de verbos, eh, nos toca poner eh, una modificación. Por lo general, lo que hacemos es eliminar la Y. Right, we eliminate the Y word, I mean letter, and you just write down I E S. So, in the case of the word study, it says studies, right? Karin studies English. So we got that that example, right? Like kind of clearly. All right, now let's let's get going. And it says the last one, uh, Veronica, help me reading. Marcos has a lot of work. Ah, ok, cool. Hay ciertos verbos especiales que suelen cambiar completamente. Ok, como por ejemplo, el verbo to be. Suele cambiar completamente de acuerdo al subject. Ok, y tal es el caso de este verbo también, del verbo have. Right? Recordemos, el verbo have en tercera persona cambia completamente la estructura. Ok. Aquí no es que se le agrega S o ES o IES, right? Sino que básicamente toda su raíz cambia, right? The have, the has, right? Just, just, just remember that, okay? Siempre recordemos eso, okay? Que el verbo have no se le agrega S, sino que es básicamente se escribe como has, right? At the moment of making the examples. Just keep that on mind, okay? Just keep that on mind. All right. With this type of examples and this type of structures, I think you don't have any problem. Creo que con estas estructuras no tenemos ningún tipo de problema, ningún inconveniente, ¿cierto? Or do you find yourself an inconvenient on this, on this thing? Or do you have something to share, something that if not might be clear for you? O tenemos alguna duda, algo que no esté del todo claro. Al menos con este tipo de oraciones afirmativas, ya sea en primera y tercera persona. Oh, when incluimos plurales. Any question with that? ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? No, yeah, because, no. yeah, because the idea is, uh, porque la idea es que yo hable menos y ahora ustedes hablen más. And that's the way how we, we are going to be doing. Y esa es la forma en cómo lo vamos a estar haciendo, right? Okay. Now, listen up. Since, since basically, how many, how many people that do I have right now? 20. Hmm. But from these 20 people, William is driving. Ah, Carlos got home. Cool, Carlos. You're, you're, you're in home. You're in your house already. Michelle is still in the bus. Okay. So I just have William and Michelle that are not are not there. Uh, but Ivan and Fiumari are, are there. Okay. Listen. What are we going to do? In this case, we're going to be we're gonna be practicing this type of structures because I do really want you to practice. Listen. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con este tipo de estructuras? Como estamos hablando del presente simple, actividades rutinarias que nosotros generalmente hacemos a diario, ¿ok? Quiero que escojan, listen, las cinco actividades que ustedes hacen más durante el día, desde que se levantan hasta que están en esta clase. ¿Cuáles son esas cinco actividades que ustedes consideran más relevantes okay, durante el día y que casi se repite a diario? All right? I want you to think on that and I want to write them down. Listen up. Nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas. Listen. Aquí vamos a practicar primera persona y tercera persona. ¿Por qué así? Porque usted, listen up, usted va a mencionar sus actividades a su compañero con el cual esté trabajando 
the one that you're working on, y su compañero, en tercera persona, él va a escribir esas actividades suyas. ¿Ok? For example, si Elvi trabaja con Zoila, Zoila va a comenzar a decir, ah, Elvi, look, I have to take a shower at 5 a.m., right? So, Elvi va a decir, ah, she takes a shower at 5 a.m., you see? Zoila lo está diciendo en primera persona, pero Elvi lo va, lo va a escribir en tercera persona, right? At the moment of, 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 of coming back in here to the main section, so Elvi is going to read Zoila's activities, but in third person. And Zoila's is going to read Elvi's activities in third person, okay? That's the way how we are going to be working, okay? There you go. Let's go to work. Solo para confirmar, eh, todavía está Michelle y William, right? Eh, ocupados. Okay, Jose Edgar, are you there? Edgar. Hmm. All right. Vamos a poner en standby. But anyways. Let me see. Ay. Ok, ok. Ah, Edgar va manejando también. Sigo, sigo right. manejando, dicho. Ok, 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 no problem. O sea que los voy a poner a ustedes tres en un solo. Para no crear acá confusión. Ok, just give me one second, people. I'm going to sign these, these people manually. I've got 21 people. Give me one second. I need to gather these three people. William, Michelle. Where is Michelle? Four. All right, I'm just doing some changes. Give me one second, people. Give me one second. Yeah, that is going to be good for four. Teacher. Hello. Sí, una pregunta, eh, yo digo mis actividades a mi compañero y mi compañero la dice en tercera persona, ya sea desigual, ¿verdad? Si yo la... Exactly, that's correct, así va a ser. Ok. That's, that's, that's correct. Ok, cool. Just give me one second, I'm organizing these people and I have this one alone. Hmm. No me voy a incluir acá, eight. Ok. Me ha quedado un grupito de tres. All right. Ese grupito de tres igual. Cinco, cinco y cinco, right? Okay, cool. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Okay? Let's go to work. Remember, five, five activities each. Okay? Let's do it. All right, let's go to room number one.
teacher le iba a hacer una consulta, pero ya se me olvidó cuál. <risa> Madre, <Julio. risa> okay. Y están escribiendo y así lo voy a dejar. Mire. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Ah, okay. es que en, la, en la tercera. Uh -huh. eh, so, eh, directamente mi trabajo consiste en andar casi todo el país. ¿va? Entonces, en la tercera puse I work visiting department. F I work no? I work visiting departments. Ajá, pero visiting es visiting. Ajá, exactly. Porque le iba a poner visit, o sea, visitando todos los departamentos, pero no sé cómo, cómo sería todo. Si sería visiting eh, okay. money departments, así. Eh, no, sería visiting all the departments. Or the departments. Or the departments. All, A -L -L, all the departments. A -L -L. Uh -huh. A la... Todos los departamentos, por así decirlo. A sí, departments. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, esa era mi duda. Que no sabía cómo es todos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí está. Teacher, una consulta. Ajá, el verso. Como vamos a hablar de tercera persona. That's correct. Vamos a... Tenemos que mencionar en oración, digamos, quizás. No, 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 porque para, para es que el... vaya, 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 vaya. Julio va a leer sus oraciones. Yes. Las, que está, las, las que él va a hacer. Entonces, sí. Julio va a leer, listen, listen, listen. Julio va a leer las actividades que él hace y usted va a escribir esas actividades de Julio en tercera persona. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si Julio le dice a usted, uh, I eat breakfast at 7 a.m. Right? Desayuno a las 7 de la mañana. Usted va a poner, he eats breakfast at 7 a.m. Ok? Uh, las oraciones solo, van a ser de él. Right? Solo de él. Solo, uh, vamos a ocupar el he nada más. Exactly. Exactly. That's correct. Okay. Exactly. Thank okay. you. All right. There you go. So any questions that you may have, uh, I'm going to be in here, okay, in the surrounding. Voy a salir cuando voy a hacer quiz. Sí, bueno. La otra. Aquí no sé si estoy seguro de escribirlo porque yo puse... Este, I arrive to house at say at six p.m. Como, Carlos, yo, como que yo llego, a, ajá, yo llego, yo llego a mi casa a las seis p.m. Carlos arrive, arrives ajá. at home at six p.m. Sí, creo que está bien. Yo escribí, I arrive to house, o no sé, así que como puedo, como puedo poner para, para mi casa, to house. Ah, uh, to my house. To my house. Yes, solo que, uh, ahí estaría okay. haciendo, solo que ahí estaría haciendo doble trabajo, Carlos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, le voy a comentar por qué porque usted está escribiendo sus ¿Ah? oraciones ¿verdad? entonces, listen, listen, listen. sus oraciones ¿Ah? solo se la, sus oraciones, las suyas Carlos, solo se las va a mencionar a Zoila, Zoila las va a escribir porque Zoila luego va a mencionar las de ella y usted va a escribir las oraciones de Zoila ¿Okay? entonces, sí, pero para... le, estoy, le estoy mencionando Ajá, ¿Sí? para, para Ajá. no hacer como un doble trabajo para usted, entonces solo menciones en la Zoila y ella las va a hacer en tercera persona. Luego Zoila le va a mencionar las actividades de ella y usted las hace en tercera persona, utilizando ya sea el nombre sí, de Zoila o she. 
Ajá, ok, si sí, así estamos haciendo, pero le estaba yo comentando que si lo estaba escribiendo yo mis, mis oraciones. Bien. Ah, ah. Ajá, sí. Right. No quería asegurarme así. Ah, porque, ok, no, sí, ella sí, sí, está, pues, ya la, sí. Ya está, la está haciendo ella, ah, tercera bien. persona. Ajá. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Right. Gracias, bro. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Sí. Ok. Thank you, okay. Okay. Bye, Carlos. Es la mía. Okay. I am this is the room in which uh, the people who are not here. Vaya, este Karen, wake up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. Karen checks her name every two hours. Así es, ¿verdad? Hours. 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 Como es, teacher? Hours, 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 hours. Ah, ok, hours, <laughs> hours. Ok, y Karen plays with her song. Karen reads book. Karen has dinner with her family. Ok. Wendy watches TV at night. Wendy makes lunch with her cousin. Wendy goes to work at 6.30. Wendy drinks coffee every day. Wendy wakes up at 5 a.m. Sí. All right, perfect. You're doing good, you're doing good. Perfect, basically you got, the, so you got those ones, right? All right, nice. I'm gonna be checking all the groups. Voy a revisar otros grupos a ver si ya terminaron y si ya pues lo hicieron. Vamos a volver a la sala principal, ¿ok? Okay. All right, cool. Let me see. Let me see. Sí, ¿cómo fue? C E E C H. Para pronunciar. T T T T. Ah. Entonces, uh, brushes, brushes, eh, pero, ¿cómo? Pero, pero dientes, uh, dientes, lich, entonces, dientes, dos, 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 claro, los dientes, tienen diferencia igual que los pies y pies, en plural, ah, se pilla los dientes, se pilla, se pilla, Los dientes. Yeah, I mean, that's correct. That's correct with what your uh, relative is saying. <laughs> I remember tooth. Okay. Tooth, only one. Teeth, all of them. Teeth, all of them. Teeth, teeth. Teeth, teeth. teeth. La pronunciación de, ese, eh, de esa palabra teeth. termina en Z al final. Teeth. 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 Uh -huh. teeth. teeth. Tits. 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 Mande. Tenía, pero le eché un poco. Hablar, talk. 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 Uh -huh. <coughs> like, talk to me. Talk. Talk. Yeah, talk. Talks. 
Para referirme a, digamos, en su trabajo. Ah, si se refiere al de Jorge, sería Ajá. his his job. His job. Uh -huh. His job. His job. Okay. That's correct. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. His job. Estamos creo. Sleep. Ajá. Sí, así es. Yo, digamos, yo le he dicho la, la, la respuesta en, tercera, en, en primera persona y usted las pasa para tercera persona. That is correct. That's the way. That's what you did? Eso es lo que hiciera ya? Sí. Ah, ok, perfect. Ya, yeah, men, usted le iba a mencionar a Gerardo las actividades que usted hace a José. Luego José las iba a escribir, pero en tercera persona. Ajá. Right? Uh -huh. Luego José iba a mencionar sus actividades y luego usted iba a escribir las de José en tercera persona. Eh, por ejemplo, él me dijo una. Uh -huh. He drink coffee in the afternoon. Ah, ok. Recordemos que en tercera persona el verbo se modifica. Y ahí sería drinks con S. Drinks. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Right? That's what we got to pay attention. Ok. Yo, digamos, así como él, ajá, vaya, si yo, él me la dice en, en primera persona, yo las tengo que pasar a tercera persona. Es correcto. Exactly. Ok. Exactly. That's the way how you were working. All right. Y disculpe, teacher. Uh -huh. Y después yo le digo las mías y él las pasa a tercera a persona. tercera persona, exacto. Si usted dice, por ejemplo, I eat lunch. Ah, tengo el almuerzo. I eat lunch o como el almuerzo. Ah, entonces Gerardo va a poner José eats lunch. Is long. No sé. José eats lunch. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Sí. Very good. Hey, what are you doing alone? <laughs> you think it's a lot. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Why? I mean, who are you practicing no, with? Nunca vi nadie. Ah. Eh, bueno, sí entró alguien como sí. un amigo, pero le hablé y no me contestó. Y se oh, fue. my God, my God. Yeah. Sí, pero ya hice las mías. Ah, you did yours. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Give me one second. One second. No, hombre, mire, yo pensando que. <laughs> Jesus, I was thinking on, on, on. Yo pensando que se estaba trabajando con alguien más. Man. Sí, entró ah, alguien. Sí, pero sí. Ajá, sí, es que, es que mandé a alguien con usted. Yo no sé, no sé qué se habrá hecho. No sé qué era. Ya, yeah, I mean, I don't know who was, who was that. No, but you got your examples, right? Pero ya tiene la suya, ¿cierto? Sí. Ok. <laughs> no problem. Vámonos a la sala principal. And you're going to practice with, with me, ok? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Sí, ya salimos. Aprovecho, Albi. Estaba con todo. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, it looks, the, the, the food looks, looks, looks delicious, man. Me descubrieron. Justo iba entrando. No, Really? Ah, no sí. almorzado. Me arde ah, la barriga. Dele, dele, que la gastritis. No quiero morirme. Dele, que la gastritis es, es fregada. <ríe> ¿Cómo? Mm, eat, sí. eat, whatever. Ya, yeah, yeah, me Ya me exactly. descubrieron, me descubrieron. Exactly, no problem. 
All right, so everybody is coming. I guess everybody has already finished. Uh, most of you were doing the activities that I told you. Uh, okay, yeah, maybe everybody's coming in here. All right, let's start over. Let's start over. Eh, como Verónica estaba solita. <laughs> she was alone, man. Entonces, ella va a leer las actividades que ella tiene propias de ella, ¿ok? Y yo se las voy a pasar a tercera persona. Just, just to help her out. Yeah, because she was alone. All right, uh, Veronica, read your examples. Okay. I wake up at 5 a.m. Ah, okay. So I can say, yeah, give me one second, Veronica. <laughs> she wakes up, listen up, she wakes up at 5 a.m. Right. Second okay. example. I cook my breakfast and my lunch. Ah, okay. She cooks her breakfast and her lunch. Good. Mm, on the day, I work with athletes. Ah, okay. During the day, she works with athletes. I am go to exercise after work. I go. I go to work. Uh, or I go to exercise, okay? Okay. So in that case, she goes to exercise after work. All right, and that's and pretty much what we have. Uh -huh. I have English classes at night. Ah, okay. And finally, she has English classes at night. Okay, well, that's cool. Thank you, Veronica. All right. Yeah, yeah I mean, despite you were not practicing with anybody, <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. All right. Uh, Julio Cesar, who were you with? Uh, Xiomara Cisneros. <laughs> All right, Xiomara, Xiomara, where is Xiomara, man? Hmm. I don't see Xiomara here. Xiomara, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I am in the right close to Julio. And I was looking at <laughs> the, 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 the screen. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's start over. Julio, you can, you can talk about her activities and then she's going to talk about your activities, okay? Okay. Go. Uh, Xiomara... Take a shower at 5 a.m. Okay. Uh, Shumara takes a bus at 6 a.m. All right. Uh, Shumara checks her email every day. Uh, Shumara has meeting at 9 a.m. Shumara goes to the shopping every Sunday. Every wow. Sunday. Okay, very good. Every Sunday. Very nice. Now, Xiomara. Okay. Julio get, gets up at 6 a.m. He goes to work at 7 a.m. He plays video games in his cell phone. He sleeps <laughs> at 11 p.m. And he watches TV every Saturday. Ah, okay, every Saturday. All right, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. And thank you, Julio. You did it excellent. There you go. Wendy. Let's start reading about your classmates' activities, Wendy. Bye. Toco con Karen. Karen wake up at 4 a.m. Ah, okay. Karen checks her name every two hours. Okay. Uh, Karen plays with her son. Karen read book, reads book. Karen has dinner with her family. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Karen? Wendy watches TV at night. Wendy makes lunch with her cousin. Wendy goes to work at 6.30 a.m. Wendy drinks coffee every day. Wendy wakes up at 5 a.m. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Karen. And thank you, Wendy. You did it excellent. We're talking about your, your actions, each other, right? Cool. Uh, let's move on. Gilberto. Yeah, Gilberto, who are you practicing with? Conmigo. Me, ah, me okay. tocó con Julio. I am in with Julio, right? 
Con Julio Alberto Nerio. Ok, cool, Gilberto. Tell me about the activities that Julio does. Ok. Eh, he is Gerak at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m., ok. Eh, he is breakfast at 6 a.m. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Again, I go to work. He goes to work. All right. Okay. Uh, he is go visiting all teach department. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Um, he is. Get home at seven till thirty. 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 Seven. Seven thirty. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, he is study English at eight p.m. Ah, okay. All right. O puede ser también A o Clock. Uh, uh, I didn't listen that much the time. You mean six o'clock? Ocho en punto, eight uh, o'clock. Eight o'clock, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eight o'clock. Sí. Yes. Okay, okay. Right. Very good. Thank you, Gilberto. Julio. Okay. He's get up. At 4 a.m. every day. He is a breakfast at 8 a.m. He sent emails at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Gilberto is a meeting every day. He finished work at 1 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, Julio. Thank you, Gilberto. You did it excellent. Now, Carlos Gamero. Let's start reading the activities that your classmates generally does. Con Soila. Okay. Well, cool. Talk about the activities about okay. Soila. Take class. Entonces, Soila takes a shower at 4 a.m. Ah, okay. Soila checks email every day. Soila works in computer every day. All right. Soila has classes of English of Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Nice. Thank you, Carlos. Soila. Talk about the activities that Carlos does. Okay. Carlos grabs at six at six a.m. Carlos takes a shower at six thirty a.m. Okay. Car Carlos um, Carlos goes to work at seven a.m. Carlos takes a lunch at twelve a.m. Carlos arrives um, arrives to his home at 6 p.m. Uh, his home. Okay, very good. All right, perfect, Soila. That was good. That activities. All right, cool. Uh, let me see who else. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Gerardo? If I'm not wrong, you were practicing with Elvi, right? Con Jose Pineda. I am and he was he was in Jorge. Yeah, I mean I remember. Yeah. Es que medio medio se parece. Okay, cool. <laughs> Gerardo, let's just start over. He drinks brothers. Oh. brothers. Exactly, kind of brothers. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> He drinks coffee in the afternoon. Okay, cool. He goes. 
He goes running in the morning. Okay. He listens music in the car. He listens. He listens to music in the car. All right, in the car. He waters the plants at work. Ah, okay. He waters the plants at work. All right, very good. Regala las plantitas en el trabajo. Right, that's cool. Okay, cool. Now, where is where is your classmate? Man, I, I don't see. His, I don't see. His. I am mean, in Jose. Are you there? Yes. Okay, man. Your turn. Gerardo takes a bath every day. Takes a bath every day. Takes a bath every day. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Gerardo drinks coffee in tea day. Okay. Gerardo make makes inventories. Makes inventories. Okay. Inventories every day. Gerardo listens to music every night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gerardo brush brushes brushes his teeth. Tip. Uh -huh. Tip every day. Ah, okay. Brushes his teeth every day. Mm -hmm. Se cepilla los dientes todos los días. Nah, okay, very good. Gerardo brushes his teeth every day. Is that true, Gerardo? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no se le olvidan ahí equipo 3 de la mañana. <laughs> Man, todavía no supero eso que se levanta esa hora. Man. That's, that's too early. Y a las 5 de la mañana y todavía peleando con la alarma. <laughs> And I was like, five more minutes. Y esos cinco minutos los deseo ya después cuando voy corriendo para el trabajo. <laughs> And I was like, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué tuve que quedarme cinco minutos más? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, one minute makes the difference. Un minuto es la diferencia. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you, Jose and Gerardo. You did it excellent. Now, uh, let's keep going. Ah, uh, now, uh, Jorge, your turn, Mr. Uh, Elvi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Elvi takes a shower every day. Okay. Elvi drives to work. Daily. Ah, okay. Uh, LB sends, sends email cool, and, and check her cell phone. Ah, okay. Uh, LB studies English every night. Ah, perfect. Very good. LB drinks coffee daily. Daily, ah, oh, okay. I mean, she drinks coffee daily. Yeah, pretty cool. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Jorge. Now, Elvi. Jorge brushes his teeth. His teeth every day. Okay. I am um, his. Um, I drinks water uh, every day. Okay. Um, Jorge. Talks in in his job, in his job. Okay. Talk talk. Okay. Uh, he's uh study English every night. Jorge sleep daily. Sleep. Sleep. Jorge sleeps 11 p.m. Um, um, daily. No, at daily. No. Uh, okay, okay, daily or every day. Daily. All right. Ah, okay. yeah, All right. 
sí, es, que no le, es que sí, no le había agarrado ahí ese último. Ajá. Ajá. Duerme, eh, Ajá, no es sé, que son cinco. Como, sí, es que había escuchado nada más duerme a diario. Y como, ah, ah. Ah, okay, sleep, en las noches, baby. Exactly, exactly. No, pero 11 o'clock. Exactly, you specify with the time, okay? okay. Thank you, Elvis. Okay. All right. Thank you, thank you, Jorge. Uh, let's see. Carlos, who are you working with? ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando? Yo, yo estuve con, con José. Carlos Chávez dijo, o, o Gamero. No, you, 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 man. You. Sí, fíjese que nos, bueno, estábamos pasando mis oraciones a, ¿cómo se a tercera persona cuando ya me quedé sin, sin señal, pero aquí podemos hacerlo si gusta ahorita. All right, who, who, who you said that you were working with? Con Jose Pineda estaba. Ah, okay, cool. Fíjese que yo le decía a Jose Pineda la, la versión mía, que es, yo, yo le dije a él, I usually play video games on my cell phone. Uh -huh. Entonces, él estaba pasando a, a la tercera persona. Entonces, en eso nos quedamos ya sin... Bueno, yo me quedé sin señal. Entonces... Uh -huh. Yo le envié a él cómo iba a quedar. No sé si ya la guardó él. Entonces la persona. Right. Did you save it, José? Sí, ajá. Sí, sí vi la, la imagen que me envió, pero y como, o sea, vi que se salió, ¿verdad? Entonces seguí con el compañero, Gerardo. No, por eso. Sí tuvimos ese... Ah, okay. Ahí por la All señal. Right. Ah, sí. okay. All right, no problem. I am and you were practicing right with the, with with Gerardo. Okay. All right, no problem. Listen up. Okay. Let's do something. Let's do something. Listen, listen. In this case, uh, in here, I have a person that has not participated that much. Okay. Mire, eh, teacher, tengo uh -huh. una duda porque. Uh -huh. La primera que yo le dije a él fue, I listen to music every time. Entonces, eh, ahí lo que cambia, le decíamos con él, es el verbo. Pero cómo él, él, él diría eso, en, en, bueno, pasarlo ya como decir a tercera persona. I listen to music every time. Easy, ¿Cómo man. sería? In that case, remember, lo único que va a cambiar es el subject y va a modificar el verbo. He listens, he listens to music every time. No cambia el verbo. He listens, ajá. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah actually, le agregamos S al verbo. Listens. Listens. Ah, ok. Exactly. Eso me duda. Gracias. All right. Cool. All right. Let's, let's, let's put those things, ok, over there. But, but you had your things, Carlos. Usted tiene sus, sus, sus actividades, like, on your head. Sí, sí, las tengo las tres, pero, o sea, hay... Perfect. No se preocupe, ya la encontré. Eh, 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 el complemento perfecto. Verónica no ha participado en tercera persona. So okay. she's going to do it, right? So tell your sentences and she's going to make them in third person, ¿ok? All right, Verónica. Usted las va a hacer en tercera persona, ¿ok? So, una a una, por favor. Yes, yes. One by one, of course. All right, Carlos. Let's go. Let's go. Eh, la primera mía sería... I listen to music every time. La, la primera. Ajá. Verónica. He listens to music every time. Ah, perfect. There you go. Okay. The second one sería I I eh, I play video games on, on my cell phone. Mm, he plays video games on his cell phone. Ah, okay, very good, perfect. Okay, Excellent. the last one, I drink water every time. Okay. He drinks water every time. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, good. You did it excellent, Veronica, thank you. All right, perfect. Now, Carlos, so you have already participated over here. Uh, let me see, who else has already finished with this? Jonathan, who were you practicing with? Con Ivania y con Juan. Ah, okay. You were practicing with Ivania and Juan. Okay, cool. And who do you have the, the activities for? ¿De quién tiene usted las, las actividades? ¿De quién, Jonathan? De Ivania. Okay, read them. 
Las cinco se harían, Ticho. Yes, the one from Nivania, yes. Ok. Ivania in the bath in war in five in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, Ivania in how profess in the morning. Ivania? In the hope, how profess in the more in the in the working. Okay, in that case, what you mean by that? I think we're gonna modify that one. All right, in Spanish, what is that? Solo in English, anote. All right. Ivania, do you remember what he tries to say? Yes, I have a breakfast at eight in the morning. Ah, okay. She has breakfast at eight in the morning. Le quedaría así, eh, como se lo acabo de enviar en el mensaje, Jonathan, okay? Okay. All right, cool. Continue with the other one. Sería la cuarta. Yes. Uh, I hope lunch 30 every day. Okay. Uh, in that case, you will say she has lunch at 12 every day. Every day. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you, Jonathan. Ivania? In this case, you're going to mention uh, whose activities? Uh, like the Jonathan or the like Juan? Uh, the Juan. Juan. Okay. Uh, Juan wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. Juan speak on my super... No, okay. Juan speak on my supervisor in the day. Uh -huh. Juan take the shower at night. Okay. Juan check his emails in the morning. All right, very good. Juan studies English at night. Ah, okay, Juan studies English at night. Very good, cool. Juan? Okay, um, Jonathan mm -hmm. worked. Jonathan stays in on traffic every day. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Jonathan is supervisor on the company. All right, very good. Every day, he listens the music. All right, perfect. Those are the ones that you got, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect one. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Vanya. Okay. okay, cool. Who else is missing? For the ones who are practicing, who else is missing? All right, creo que con eso habíamos completado las demás porque en ese caso... Teacher. William. Yo venía, yo venía oyendo, pero tengo las mías. Ah, ¿y qué tal Michelle? Michelle, ¿y usted tiene las suyas? No, pero las puedo decir. Ah, cool, man, perfecto. O sea que no, no, no las tengo escritas, pero, pero las puedo mencionar. Ajá, ajá. Ok, no, let's do something, let's not. Lo vamos a hacer más interesante con ustedes dos. Listen up. William, quiero que usted me mencione cinco actividades que usted cree que eh, Michelle hace durante el día. Y Michelle, mencioneme cinco actividades que usted cree que William hace durante el día. All right? Make them up. Que veo las damas. Ah, Michelle. <risa> <risa> um, <risa> um. Um, Williams, uh -huh. Williams drinks Coca Cola every day. Okay, William drinks Coca Cola every day. All right, good. All right. Uh, William, um, ¿cómo es de tomar take? Tomar que tomar de bebé. El desayuno o, de o como desayuno. 
Como ah, que de how, how, how. Ah, William, how breakfast? No, but in this is... case, third person, third person, remember. What is the third ah. person of how? Has. Exactly. Ah, William has breakfast mm -hmm. at 7, 7 a.m. every day. Okay, at 7 a.m. every day. Cool. Uh, William drive in... ¿Cómo sería? William maneja uh -huh. a su trabajo. Sería in... Two. To, no, in to. ¿Cómo? Ok. William drives to his work or his job. William drives to, to his, his job. job. Exactly. Ese to, esa preposición to, que es la T y la O, cuando es un verbo de movimiento como go, como drive, como walk, Siempre es ir a, ¿ok? Hacia. Eso significa. Ok. Right. Y we, William. Eh, ay, no sé. <ríe> well, eh, William. Mm -hmm. Take a shower. Takes take, a shower. Takes every a day. Shower. Every day. But you're not sure, pero no estás segura. No sé. <laughs> ok, Michelle, ok, all right, cool. Thank you, Michelle. All right, William. Uh, Michelle waits out uh, 6 a.m. every day. Ok. Uh, Michelle drinks coffee in the morning. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Eh, Michelle. Hola, hola. Ya, yeah, me continue. Ah, perdón, que pensé que se veía. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle este, has breakfast every day 12 p.m. Ok. Three o, o five? Five. Five. Ok. Eh, Michelle. Get, get got a uh, sleep 11 p.m. Got sleep, uh, got sleep 11 p.m. every day. Okay. Right. Uh, Michelle listens listen to, uh, listen to music in the world. All right. Listens to Bad Bunny in the in the work. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see, man, she's just she's happy. You see, she's like, I just mentioned that singer and she's like happy. Okay. A veces, a veces. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Anyways, cool people. So that one where, you know, like simple sentences in first and third person using, you know, like affirmative statements. I'm going to pass the attendance list, then we're going to continue, but with the negative statements. Okay. Just give me one second. Carlos Mauricio. Present. All right, cool. Cindy Melanie. Cindy Melanie. All right, Cindy. All right, uh, Elvi Quintanilla. Present, teacher. Okay, cool. Elvi, one question, Elvi. Your name is Elvi Quintanilla? Bonilla Garcia. Es que Quintanilla sale todavía ahí, pero es de... Ya soy divorciada, pero ah, no había pero, arreglado. Ah, <risa> Elvi Quintanilla García Bonilla, parece acá, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, o sea que solo tiene un nombre. Only one name. Sí. Ah, sí. ah, ok, ok, cool. Uh, I, was, I was curious. Ok, ah, uh, Stephanie Michelle. Present. Ok, cool. Gustavo Adolfo. Hey, Gustavo es el segundo nombre, no está conectado. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. All right. Jose Antonio. Present. Ok, cool. Jose Edgar. 
All right, cool. Are you yet driving, Edgar? Todavía conduciendo. Okay, no problem, mister. Ah, uh, Juan Emanuel. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. Let's move. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. Okay, Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar. I, I have Julio here. What is it? Okay, he's not there. Ah, uh, Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, perfect. Verónica Arely. Present. All right, perfect. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Jose. I'm here teacher present. Okay, nice. And the last one, soy la Guadalupe. No me mencionó. Ah. No me mencionó. Let me see Karen. Karen, 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 Karen. Yeah, Karen, ya la tengo en la lista. <laughs> it appears okay. in the list. <laughs> no problem, Karen. Yeah, I mean. No, es que a veces suelen, suelen saltarse así, pero yo cuando ya, ya, ya la he visto, yo le tengo la, la, en la lista ahí, el puntito. Okay. No problem, probably it pops up. That one. Okay, cool. Let's move on with the things that we're going to uh, continue with this, okay? So this was basically about affirmative statements, right? Let's remember in first and third person. Now, let's jump into negative statements, okay? Let's remember that in negative statements, we need auxiliary verbs, okay? Recuerden que para oraciones negativas, ya es donde usamos verbos auxiliares. Específicamente el auxiliar do, okay? Y en tercera persona que ella se convertiría en does, más la forma negativa que en este caso sería la palabra not. The structure. Let's start over with this. Check this out. We got the subject. Okay. Let's remember the subject can be anything, right? Um, related to pronouns and anything related to proper nouns. And then we got don't. Okay. Cuando estamos hablando en primera, segunda y plurales de personas, entonces usamos don't. Recordemos eso. Okay. Cool. After don't, what do we need? Ah, we need a main verb. Verbo principal. The one that indicates the action, okay? And then what we need is a complement. Y luego lo que necesitamos, pues, ya todos lo sabemos, que en este caso es un complemento, right? This is pretty much what we have about the structure from this. From this thing. Example. Check this out. Karen, help me out reading this. I don't have money. No, okay, cool. Right? So, en una oración positiva, yo puedo decir, I have money, right? I have money. Right? Positive statement. Ah, tengo plata, tengo dinero. But, in negative, ya usamos el do plus not. Que unido, recuerden, sería don't. I don't have money. Like, no tengo dinero, right? I don't have money. I don't have a car. I don't have a computer. I don't have English classes. I don't have a well-paid job. I don't have a good job. I don't have a bad job. You see, in that case, like, there, has, there is like a lot of ways in which we can, you know, uh, create examples in negatives, especially the ones in first person. All right, let's keep going. Soila, help me read in this one. You don't, you don't go to, to church. Okay, cool. You don't go to church, right? You don't go to church, right? Ah, tú no vas a la iglesia. So you don't go to church. Says. Now, next one, Julio Alberto.
Yo. Yo okay. sí. Okay. <laughs> Perdón. Okay. We don't have a big house. Ok, cool. We don't have a big house, right? Ah, no tenemos una gran casa. Right? So all of them are negatives. All right, perfect. And the last example. Mr. Gamero, help me out. They don't do their homework. Okay, very good. They don't do their homework. Like, ellos no hacen su tarea, right? So, in that case, let's remember. All right. If you are going to put a pronoun, right? A pronoun in first person, like I, second person, like you, right? Or a plural, like we or they. So, in that case, we have to use don't. Okay, generally don't is the example, right? Is the structure in which we can rely to create negative statements, okay? Negative statements. So, so this is the way how we do this type of processes, okay? Cool. Bien. Dicho esto, viendo los ejemplos, ¿tenemos alguna duda con relación a cómo formar oraciones negativas? A partir de acciones que nosotros no hacemos. Do you have any question with that? No. Solo para la explicación cuando se se ocupa they ahí en they don't they en tercera persona se pone they. Ah, no, en este caso, en este caso el they hace referencia a un posesivo, ¿ok? Es referencia a su, de ellos, de ellos. Por eso dice, they don't do their homework. Ellos no hacen su tarea, la tarea de ellos. ¿Ok? Entonces, ese their básicamente es para pluralizar, right? Para mencionar a más de una persona. ¿Ok? So, that's why we use their. Por eso es que usamos their, porque estamos hablando de varias personas. Y si, y, y si fuera ahí de we, ¿cómo, ¿cómo diría así? Ah, entonces ahí uh -huh. ya no sería, bueno, por ejemplo, ya no sería sus tareas de ellos, uh -huh. sino nuestras uh -huh. tareas, ¿verdad? Right? ¿cuál, ¿Cuál sería ahí? Entonces ahí ya sería our. Our. Nuestras tareas. Right? Ok. This is the one. Right? Este es entonces el que usted eh, usaría. Si estamos refiriéndonos a Wii. All right, perfect. Now, what are we going to do with this series of examples? Look, we're not going to go like into a deep practice like we were doing with the previous thing, but let's start over with this. All right, let's start over with, with one activity that you don't generally uh, do. Okay, cool. Creo que no, en este tipo de actividades no es necesario que las anotemos. Ok, no las vamos a estar anotando, pero sí quiero que creemos una en nuestra, en nuestra, en nuestra uh, mente sobre aquellas actividades o sobre aquello que nosotros no hacemos, especialmente que okay. relacionémoslo a la clase. Let's put it away. El ejemplo en negativo, relacionémoslo a la clase. Ok, for example, for example, yo puedo decir, I don't speak full English in the class. I don't speak full English in the class. Right? No hablo inglés, right? En toda la clase, o sea, en la clase completa, o por decirlo así, right? No hablo, ok, uh, solo inglés en toda la clase. Right? Because I'm speaking in Spanish too, right? Porque igual estoy hablando en español, ok? So that's an activity that I'm not doing in this class. Ok, how about you? ¿Podrían mencionarme ustedes una actividad que no hacen en la clase? Ok, creo que ya los puse a pensar un poquito. Escríbanla si quieren, right? I, I, don't, I don't sleep in the class in class oh, okay cool lb i don't sleep in the class thank you soy la okay. okay. i i don't listen to music okay very good soy la lb you want to mention algo 
No, aunque quisiera dormir, dije, no puedo. <risa> ok, no, man. Yo tengo no. una, teacher. Ok, let's go. I don't like onion. <risa> ok, ok, William. Pero la oración... Another, another pero, yeah, another. But, but the sentence has to be related to the class. Pero la oración tiene que estar relacionada a, a, a esta clase. Uh, okay, I don't, no I don't. Hace, eh, eh, durante la clase. Ah, ok. I don't listen music reggaeton. I don't listen to reggaeton. Music. To reggaeton music. Uh -huh. Ajá, ok. I don't listen to reggaeton yeah. music. Okay. Uh, I don't feel bored on class. Ok, you don't feel bored on class. Cool, Carlos, thank you. What else? Who else? ¿Alguien más que haya hecho ya una oración y me la diga sobre la clase? I don't, I don't dance. Ah, ok, cool. You don't dance in the class. Ok. Eh, I don't play video games in class. Ah, ok, cool. Y con una consola, y con, una, con un control en otra mano. <ríe> con la consola. I don't, la... I, I don't play video games. All right. Cool. <ríe> That would be funny. Man. Okay, who else? Who else? Alguien más? I don't answer calls during the class. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen. Somebody else? Yo, I don't eat in the class. <laughs> Solo ahora. <laughs> y mascándome en la clase. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. <laughs> and you're eating, man. Hello, <laughs> Yeah, man, but you don't need, right? You don't need. Okay, cool. Thank you, Michelle. Ah, somebody else? Alguien más? Like the ones that have not participated, pero los que no hemos participado aún todavía. I don't turn on camera in the class. Ah, okay. I don't turn on the... Turn on or turn off? Ah. Turn on or turn off? Off. Ah, ya vamos a ver si es cierto, Wendy. Ya vamos a ver si es cierto. <laughs> ok. <laughs> All right, very good. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? I don't understand the class. <laughs> Come on, Verónica. You, 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 es you, falso, pero no. You, you, you kill my feelings, man. <laughs> ok, very Sorry. good. There you go. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, who else? Somebody else? Gilberto, do you have yours? I don't, I don't be I don't. tired in the class. Okay, okay, okay. Give me one second, porque los dos comenzaron a hablar al mismo tiempo. Let's, let's start over. Juan, what do you say? Juan. Are you there? Okay. I don't be tired. I don't be tired in the class. Ah, okay, okay. There you go. I don't be tired, or I don't be tired. All right. Oh um, my way. That might be acceptable. I don't be tired. Ah, uh, Gilberto. Thank you, Mister. By the way. I don't watch TV in the English class. Ah, okay, very good. All right. Okay, cool. Pero no sabemos, ¿verdad? Como, I, tuve un grupo el, 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 a finales del año pasado, I remember. Algo así me hicieron una, una, un ejemplo, right? Like, hey, teacher, I don't watch TV in the class. Y, y en el fondo se escuchaba el partido de la selecta, man, que estaba jugando justamente ese día. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, uh, somebody else that has not participated? Mr. Gamero. Okay, Gerardo, let's go. Then uh, Carlos. I don't drink water in class. Okay, all right, you don't drink water in the class. All right, Carlos, thank you, Gerardo. I, I don't drink beer in the class. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> Only teacher. <laughs> only, only Friday, dice. <laughs> okay, very good. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday, ah, okay. Nice, man, nice. Let me see, who else is missing? 
आपका एक और है आई डोंट आई डोंट टेक अ शावर इन द क्लास ओके ओके कूल यू डोंट टेक अ शावर फॉर द क्लास वेरी गुड समरी एल्स एम सी आई थिंक आई गेट द फीलिंग समवन इज मिसिंग हियर आह 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 लेट मी सी जोनाथन यू रीड योर एग्जांपल यस टू आह यस टू ओके कूल होसे पिनेरा यस आई डोंट गो टू टी बेड रूम डूरिंग क्लास आह ओके यू डोंट गो टू द बेड रूम डूरिंग क्लास वेरी गुड वेरी यू गोम Let me see. Yeah, I mean, who has already participated? Gerardo, Jonathan, Juan Campos. Yeah, I mean, he participated. Siomara, did you participate already? No. Ah, okay. In the class. Ah, can you repeat that again, Siomara, please? I don't check my phone during the class. Ah, okay, very good. You don't check the phone during the class. Perfect. So this is the way how we create those type of examples, right? Let me see, just to confirm. Ivania, did you participate? I don't watch movies during class. Ah, okay. You don't watch movies during class. Mm, okay, very good. That's acceptable, people. So in that case, let's remember. That's what we basically are doing, right? We are like writing down negative examples about something right let's I don't, that uh -huh. i don't have recess in my english class break in my english class <laughs> that would be a break <laughs> now nah, man we don't have a break if we have a break we're gonna get extended yeah man but it's okay man it's just, it's it's a two hours class two hours flies Ah, pero dos horas se van volando. Just imagine. Siento que acabamos de comenzar y ya me falta que menos de media hora yo estoy en este class. You see? The class don't I'm finish flying. at time. <laughs> okay, cool one. The class don't finish on time. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> se, 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 están, se están revelando contra mí. Yeah, man, like like this, this students. Solo porque, los, solo porque los tengo acá como cinco minutos después. Nah, I mean, more than five minutes sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's too, it doesn't finish on time, right? Comienza exactamente a las ocho, dice, pero no termina a las diez. <laughs> All right, now, I mean, I'm sorry. Hay que tomar cartas en el asunto, bitch. I'm sorry, man, yes. Ya, 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 me están, me están, este... Recriminando que los tengo en ya, ya es el cansancio del viernes, ya. Exactly. ¿Es that Emanuel? But oh, it's yeah. very funny, the class. I mean, it's funny. Yeah. Ajá. But it's funny. Y Juan al final así como que, ya, yeah, I mean, it's funny, pero quiero dormir. <laughs> no, man, no, no, no problem. I will, I will try to fix that at the end, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de reacomodar más, ¿ok? Like the time, para no tenerlos tanto, tanto, tanto tiempo después de las diez. All right, cool. All right, let's let's start over. Okay, Edgar, you got home. Very nice. So you can participate on the on the on the structures. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Check this out. Purpose and negative statements. Okay, let's remember the statements were about personally speaking, first person. The ones that you were doing, okay? But now these ones are related to third person statements. And the structure that we generally use, it's does plus not, okay? So in this case, it's pretty different, okay? Because join does plus not, let's remember, in that case is doesn't, okay? Subject plus doesn't plus verb plus complement. And we got some examples, check this out. She doesn't work in Pizza Hut. So, in este caso, recordemos, si tenemos el auxiliar modificado como the do a does, right, plus the negative, it makes doesn't, ya debido a ese auxiliar que va modificado, ya no hay necesidad que el verbo principal 
sufra la modificación de agregarle S, e, S, O y e, S. ¿Ok? Por eso el verbo va forma base. Right? That's, that's, that's the way how the verb goes. That's why we got she doesn't work in Pizza Hut. You see? Like, ella no trabaja en Pizza Hut. Second example, Gilberto. Una pregunta. Ajá. Si en esta oración, en vez de chidas en Word, en Pizza Hut, le ponemos nada más she don't o she do not, le agregaríamos la S en Word. Y sería igual. Ok, all right, all right. Now, in this case. Give me one second. Give me one second. I was, I was, I was lost. Vaya, me dijo. Ajá, repítame, por favor. En vez de poner chidas, chidasen, mm -hmm. ponemos chidón. Ah. Chidón, gor, agregaríamos la S. Aquí. Así. Eh, agregaríamos la S en el, ver, en el verbo es el cor. No. No porque se puede. Para, porque para comenzar, el auxiliar no puede ser don't. Y es desde ahí ya la oración está mal. Entonces, claro. ¿por qué? Ajá, ¿por qué? Porque recordemos que do es un verbo que se modifica. ¿Ok? Do eh, es absorbido por la regla que. Eh, vimos al principio, ¿ok? Que estuve explicando al principio que todo verbo que termina en O, ¿ok? En tercera persona se le agrega ES, ¿right? Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso de do cambia a ser das. Entonces, right? das. Exactamente. Entonces, este es el indicado para referirse a acciones en tercera persona. Entonces, ahí sí, a por ende, no se puede colocar do cuando hablamos de una tercera persona. Tiene que ser das. Das. Exacto. Y ha unido con el not, pues allí ya contractado es como le llamamos el doesn't. Right? Doesn't. Exacto. Entonces no tendría lógica, no sería comúnmente correcto decir que Verónica don't sleep early. Right? Ah, Verónica don't sleep early. It has to be Veronica doesn't sleep early, right? So this is the way how we how we do it. Okay, cool. Thank, thank you, teacher. All right, there you go. Let's continue with this. Yeah, we don't have another example. William, tell me a ring. It doesn't work. Ah, okay, cool. It doesn't work, like, no sirve. Ah, o no trabaja. You see, en este caso, cuando usamos it, por lo general, nos referimos a objetos, como máquinas, estructuras, ¿ok? A eso es lo que nos estamos refiriendo. Right? For example, supongamos que la computadora no enciende. ¿Ok? Y usted diga, ah, it doesn't work. ¿Eh? No sirve, no trabaja. It doesn't work. ¿A qué está refiriéndose con el it? Se está refiriendo a la computadora. ¿Ok? A un objeto que no tiene vida. Right? Let's remember that. En este caso, it es reemplazable cuando sabemos de qué objeto estamos hablando. Right? Cuando sabemos de qué estamos hablando. Right? So, si estamos hablando de un carro y el carro tiene problemas, la palabra carro yo la puedo eh, cambiar y colocar la palabra it, el pronombre it, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir it runs faster si es en positivo. Like this, check this out. Si estamos hablando de un carro y yo digo, ah, it runs fast. Ah, corre rápido. Si fuera negativo, it doesn't run fast. ¿Sí? 
Ah, pero entonces ahí ya tenemos previo conocimiento sobre qué estamos hablando. Entonces, el it se puede usar en oraciones, pero siempre y cuando sepamos de qué estamos hablando o de qué objeto estamos hablando. Right? Entonces, en este caso yo puedo usar it. Mientras tanto, no puedo usar it. ¿Ok? Let's remember that. Right? It es para mencionar cosas que no tienen vida, cosas, o, o sea, objetos. ¿Ok? Y siempre y cuando nos, refira, nos refiramos a uno solo, ¿ok? No a varios, sino que uno solo. Like, como un carro, una computadora, un escritorio, un celular, right, etc. Dos más. All right, give me one second. I'm going to continue with this. All right, we got the last example. Wendy, let me read it. Emily doesn't have a cell phone. Ah, okay, very good. Like Emily doesn't have a cell phone. You see? So in that case, what do we have in here? ¿Qué tenemos acá? So, primero que nada, tenemos el nombre de, de, de un subject, que en este caso es una mujer, right? Podemos decir Emily o podemos decir she, right? Y luego doesn't. Recuerden que doesn't, siempre y cuando estemos hablando de oraciones negat eh, negativas en tercera persona, siempre va a ir después del subject, ¿ok? Ya sea he, ya sea she, ya sea it, ya sea la palabra the cat, the dog, right? Siempre va a ir doesn't después. Y luego lo que vamos a colocar es el verbo del cual nosotros estamos hablando, right? So que ahí pues va a depender de usted sobre lo que usted pregunte o usted responda. Ok, cool. Any question with the third person? Uh, negative statements? ¿Alguna pregunta con esta estructura en tercera persona negativa? Everything clear, teacher. Ah, ok, cool. Everything is super clear. There you go. All right. Now, listen. Yesterday, yesterday, I was, I was, I was telling you that we were missing a short conversation in the manual related to the question structure that we were practicing. That was basically how much and how many, okay? Uh, I would like you to practice the short conversation because I see I, or I find it kind of interesting to, to you, okay? Así que, listen up. Ayer, esta es una de las conversaciones que nos hizo falta practicar y que me gustaría que pongamos un poco en práctica, más que todo por el aspecto del vocabulario, right? Y pues para ganar un poco más de fluidez. So what's this one? If you remember, we haven't practiced this one, right? Practicamos una antes, pero esta no lo hicimos. This is a conversation between Ben and Jeff. What are we going to do with this information? Look. Teacher, which page? Uh, this is on page 16. Thank you. Yeah, page 16. Página 16. Okay. Dice, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the partner, right? Lo vamos a hacer más que todo a modo de práctica, ¿ok? Esta conversación es sobre los usos de how much y how many, right? That's, that's the uses of this one, ¿ok? It's mostly for vocabulary purpose practice, ¿ok? Cool, let's start over. It says, Jeff, how are you doing? How are you doing? I want to ask you. I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? How many days a week do you work? He says, Jeff. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Well, I work. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Five days a week. Okay? Let me see. Give me one second to know if a particular. I am in this day. Okay. Five days a week, he says. And you? That's great, he says, Ben. That's 
great. I work four week days. I work four week days. And sometimes on Saturdays. And sometimes on Saturdays. It says, Jeff, really? On Saturdays? Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? It says, man, yes, I work extra hours. When there is too much work to do. Yes, I work extra hours. When there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Each extra hour is not around ten dollars it says yeah i see i see well sometimes there is not much time right well sometimes okay, there is not much time right and it says actually in here there is a pretty mistake in vez de mario acá tendría que decir uh, ben, it says absolutely, absolutely. Okay, from this short conversation over here, de toda esta pequeña conversación que tenemos acá, ¿tienen alguna duda en cuanto al vocabulario que aparece acá? Any question related to the vocabulary? Cuando le pregunto around, around. All right. Let me see. I'm going to find it out just to find the logic. It says, da, 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 da. I work for this a week in you. That's great. Okay. In that case, it's basically when you are giving an approximate about something. Básicamente es cuando estamos dando un aproximado de algo. Around. Okay. Entonces es cuando lo usamos. Cuando básicamente yeah, estamos dando un aproximado de algo. Around ten dollars. So it's like, como diez dólares. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. I have a question for you. Este, en la en la segunda de Jeff, cuando dice, Hey Ben, well I work five days a week, and you dice, eh, ahí también podemos usar, como usted lo dijo ayer en la conversación que dice, What about you? Exactly. Lo puede usar de esa manera también. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Yeah. Sí, porque como tenía la duda, como dijo solo. Solo uso ahí en you y dije yo que esta vez también se puede usar about you también, ¿verdad? Sí, Ajá. se puede usar también y no hay ningún problema. Gracias, es mi duda. All right, ya, yeah, no problem. Sí, recordemos que eso es para no volver a repetir la misma pregunta, right? Ok, cool. Any other question with the vocabulary? ¿Alguna otra duda en cuanto a vocabulario? Teacher, vocabulario? That's great. Ah, uh, Michelle. Sí. Hola. Ahora, nueve cincuenta de la noche. Ahora, nueve cincuenta de la noche. Ah, nueve cincuenta. Okay. Ahora, nueve cincuenta de la noche. Porque la muchacha le quiso preguntar, that's great. That is great. La one, Michelle. Uh -huh. Solo confirmeme con su dedito, Michelle, si esa era. Sí, eso es. Ok, cool. That is great. That is great. Es como, ah, eso es genial. That is great. Thank you. Ok, cool. You're welcome. All right, cool. Let's start over. El asistente de Google. A veces estoy dando clases y de repente se comienza a hablar mi teléfono solo también. That is funny, man. That is funny. Okay, well, listen. Eight minutes are missing before the class finishes. All right? Tenemos ocho minutos para que la clase termine. How are we going to do this? Listen. Pero como a mí me interesa que usted practique esto con su compañero, voy a ir de sección en sección 
observando la pronunciación de cada uno de ustedes, cómo lo van a hacer en la práctica, ok. Entonces, en esa práctica es donde lo voy a evaluar, la pronunciación y todo. Y ya cuando volvamos acá a las 10, ya simplemente es para la lista de asistencia y nos podamos retirar, ¿ok? That's the way how we're going to be doing. Ajá, no, Carlos. No hay duda. Fíjese que usted mencionó que ahora era el último día para las tareas de yeah. esta semana. Yeah. Y fíjese que ninguna he hecho. Este, <risa> yo tengo hasta qué horas para entregar eso. Tiene aproximadamente hasta las once y media. Ah, va. Ah, pues con todo, y ahí, ahí cuando ya termine la clase voy a meterle para traer ah, a las tres. Va, pues, si no, ahí me va a tener. Hey, Carlos, Carlos, por vale. favor, ayúdeme, Carlos, colabóreme. <ríe> Carlos, no se duerma. <ríe> All right, let's continue, man. Let's continue. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them, give me one second. I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm gonna make the groups. I'm gonna make the groups so we can... We can go to work together, ¿ok? José Edgar, ya está en casa, ¿cierto? Sí. En practice, ok, perfect. And we are 19. Ah, Jesus. 19. All right. It's going to be now nine people. Ok, cool. Va a quedar uno de tres. But anyways. That's the way how we're going to be practicing, okay? You got six minutes to practice, people. Let's give a step in there, all right? Aceptemos ahí, por favor, y nos vamos a practicar esta conversación. Let's go. Let's got to practice, guys. Let's go. Let's got to practice. ¿Quién empezaría? ¿Y quién empiece usted? Bueno, yo. Yeah. Espere, 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 que me salí aquí a la calle para que no me falle la señal. <risa> Vaya, hoy sí, dele. Ok, Jeff. Yeah. How are Six grip words for with day and summer day on Saturday. Really, on Saturday, do you work extra hours? And how much money do you they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour with there is too much work to do if extra or is around things dollar thanks thanks Rio. ten dollars sí. ten dollars okay thanks dollar i see well sometimes there is not much time right absolutely all right you can switch it okay jeff How are you doing? I want to. Do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Thanks, great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hour? And how much money do you do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too, too much work to you. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. 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 Pero aquí aparece alguien más, Mario dice ahí. Ajá, ya, yeah, pero eso es un error de, de typing ahí en el. Ah, ya. Yeah. El, yeah, el, 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 el libro. Exactly. Exactly. Ah. No problem in that case. 
you can switch if you want, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Bye. How much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes. I wore extras, extras yours. Hour? When, hour. hour. Uh, hours. I wore extra hours. Hours, hours. Hours. Mm -hmm. When, when there is too, too much, too much. Too much. Word to, too much work to do. Eight extra hour, hours, hours is under ten. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's keep practicing. Okay. Jeff. Yes. Jeff, yes. how are you doing? I want to ask I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That is great. I work four weekdays and sometime on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time right. Absolutely. All right, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Entonces, comience usted ahora. Perfect. Jeff, how are you do, do you doing? I want to ask you how ma how many days a week? All right. Do you work do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay? Pay for extra hours? Yes, I got extra hours. When there is too much work to do, each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time to buy. Absolutely. But let's see how Okay, Jeff. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Thanks, great. I work for weekdays and sometimes Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is our own. Ten dollars. I see. Well, some say there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Can come in. El fin de semana. Okay, okay, okay. So the teacher, teacher. What's that? I finished. You finished? I finished. I finished practice. Yeah. All right. Perfect. 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 That's. Ya that's estamos. Cool. Ya estamos ready. You're ready. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I was I was just checking the, the, the you know the pronunciation of them. If you want, you can read it over here, right? Yeah. All right. Are you listening? Let me see. Let me see. No, no problem. No problem. I'm gonna check one one more group, but I forgot it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, I here, I here. Anyways, okay, cool. Let's vamos, go back vamos, to the main section. Vamos a hacerlo primero en participar. <laughs> <laughs> no, hágamelo acá, hágamelo acá, porque sí, ya he estado revisando hacia todos en pronunciación y todo. Ah, okay. 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 Over here, no problem. Vaya, pues, empiezo, pues. 
Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. Right. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Absolutely, says. Very nice. So let me see. I just want me see one group and then we're going to go back, okay? Okay. okay. Nice. Do you go? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you're about to leave. You're about to leave. I was listening to your conversation. Oh? Yeah, I mean, I was listening to your conversation. Man, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go back to the main station, okay? Let's go on the station principal. Hey, now, I mean, everybody's coming back like so quickly, right? Huh? Cuando están en tarea y no han terminado, ese minuto lo sienten largo para volver. Pero ahora estaban antes que mí. That's cool. That's nice. That's so fast. I know, I mean, you, you want to go to bed right now. Give me one second. I'm going to pass the attendance list, people, okay? I'm going to pass the attendance list so we can go to sleep. <laughs> Give me one second. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Cindy Melanie. No, no, Cindy didn't show up today. Uh, Elvi Quintanilla. Man, where is Elvi? Present. Ah, okay. Uh, no, me, Michelle, it's not here yet. Give me one second. I mean, it's Elvi. I pensé que era yo. Hi, present teacher. Okay, cool. All right. Now, Stephanie Michel. Right? Oh, see, present. present. Exactly, man. <laughs> Gustavo Adolfo, it says now. Gustavo hasn't shown up. Let's move to Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. All right. Ivania, uh, your classmate Gustavo, I mean, le tocaban los 10 minutos de feedback, pero como no está, me voy a adelantar a uno. Entonces a usted le va a tocar esta noche, ¿ok? Ok. All right, perfect, thank you. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Ok, great. José Antonio. Present. Ok, nice. José Edgar. Present. Perfect. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel, are you there? Present. Okay, nice. Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, great. Julio Cesar. I am in Julio. Was, was the, the one with the problem? Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, Luis Gerardo. Present. All right, Veronica Arely. Present. Excellent. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Nice. William Ernesto. Present. All right. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Luis Jonathan. Present, teacher. All right. Uh, Carlos Jose. I'm here to see present. All right. And the last one, Soyla Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Okay, people. Listen up. Listen, listen, listen. Before we go. Eh, para los que no me han terminado las tareas, please, 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 eh, terminenlas este día, All right. es, es lo que falta de esta noche, eh, porque necesito enviar esas notas al Insafor esta misma noche, ok, please, Estoy... me gustaría que me colaboraran con eso, 
eh, y pues así básicamente ya nos quedamos para el lunes, ya con el inicio de, de la segunda semana, así que gracias por haberse conectado estos cinco días a la primera semana de, de, de este módulo, que tengan un excelente fin de semana y nos vemos el próximo lunes, ok? Have good a night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Good night, good night, good night teacher, good everybody. Good fin de semana. Disfruten. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. All right, good night, everybody. All right, man. See you. Bye. Yeah. Uh Ajá. -huh. Todas son las cinco tareas nada más, vea. Sí, sí, de la, de la, de la tarea 1 a las 5 nada más. Ok. Ya, yeah. ok. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night, Gilberto. See you Monday. All right, cool. All right, Ivania, let's, let's start over with this. Um, basically, if you remember, these 10 minutes feedback are only to clarify if you have questions related to the topics, okay, or doubts related to the platform. Básicamente esos 10 minutos de feedback son para aclarar cualquier duda que puedan haber con relación a cualquiera de las clases que hemos estado viendo o si tiene alguna duda con respecto a las tareas de la plataforma. Así que, mm. yes, no, así respecto que a las tareas, eh, ya las hice. Ah, perfecto. Me alegra escuchar eso. Este, bueno, sí, tengo una preguntita. De hace días quiero salir de esta duda. Ah, claro, dígame. Gusto. Hay una forma de decir media hora uh -huh. eh, pero realmente no me acuerdo cómo es ok vaya hay una forma que es un poquito digamos más usada ok uh -huh. que en este caso sería de esta manera media hora how an hour media hora Ok, half an hour. Por decir las 8.30 sería ah, entonces, entonces acá ya cambiaría un poco. Sería 8. Uh -huh. right. Vaya, hay varias. 8. 30. 8.30. Ok. Or, let me see. Let's put it like this way. Half an hour past eight. Or eight past half an hour. No. Eight. Eight. Okay. And, uh, and a half. Eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put it that, that, that way. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, entonces, esa es la, la que podemos utilizar. Huh? Aunque comúnmente, yeah, I mean, it's like, es, es esta la que se utiliza. 8.30, right? Or 8.30. Pero lo, lo más formal sería 8, um, 8 half. 8 and a half. Ah, 8.30 también. That's, that's acceptable. También hay otra que es, uh, por ejemplo, cuando se refiere a que 8.15, por así decirlo, a quarter to a quarter past 8. 8.15, a quarter past 8. Okay. Este es como cuando decimos un cuarto pasado a las ocho. Ok. Un cuarto pasado a las ocho. Ajá. Cuando son las ocho, ocho, ocho quince. Cuando son las ocho quince. Ah, cuando faltan quince a las ocho. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ya sería a quarter to eight. O, aquí ya es quince a las ocho. A quarter to eight. Ok. So in that case, uh -huh. estas son los... Por decirlo, 8.45. Exactly, exactly, right? Supongamos que son las 7.50. 7.50. Y usted quiere decir, ah, faltan 10 a las 8. Ah, entonces usted va a poner, miren. It's 10 to 7. 
it's para hacer referencia de son. ¿Ok? Como es, nos referimos okay. a horas, it's 10 to 7. Ah, son 10 a las 7. 10 a las 7. Estamos diciendo que básicamente son, por así decirlo, 6.50. ¿Ok? Aquí usted lo puede modificar si quiere decir 10 a las 8. Simplemente de Solo 7, se cambia la hora al final. 8. Exactly. Solo se cambia esa parte al final. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, entonces eso es, esa es la forma en como algunas ocasiones solemos mencionar la hora. Uh -huh. Sí, tenía dudas, pero no recordaba la verdad. Ajá, ah, ok. Ya, yeah, I mean, you can say eight and a half, seven and a half. Uh -huh. O oh, a half past eight. También lo podemos poner así, fíjese. Por ejemplo, acá. A half past eight. Media hora pasada a las ocho. O oh, ocho y media, por así decirlo. A half past eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Media hora pasada a las ocho. Uh -huh. Exactly. So that's, that's, that's a way how we can put it in, uh, two. And there's no problem. Así lo podemos poner también. Igual significa lo mismo. Okay. Okay. With a different instruction. All right. Any other question that you may have, Ivani? ¿Alguna otra duda que usted pueda tener con relación a, a, las, a alguna estructura? Lo que se ha visto en clase. Bueno, realmente ya lo había visto anteriormente. Aquí es prácticamente eh, como un recordatorio para mí. Ah, Pero... ¿el que había visto eh, como un recordatorio? No, ahorita, digamos, las clases son como un recordatorio para mí. Ajá. Porque ya he estudiado inglés básico varios años. Ah, ah, Ajá, ok. Entonces, ah, so then that's um, why, that's why. Ajá. A mí lo que me cuesta es la pronunciación. Uh -huh, bueno, uh -huh. siento en mi aspecto, pero escucho a otros y digo que pues, no ando tan mal, va. No, actually, yeah, you, 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 you do good, good in, in, especially in the conversations. Sí, lo hace bien, especialmente en las conversaciones. I mean, I have been listening y, y sí. Lo único que sí, lo que se necesita es un poquito más de práctica para agarrar un poco más de fluencia y un poco más de soltura al momento de pronunciar las palabras. Uh -huh. Sí, yo practico en, en Duolingo. Ah, I mean, that, that one is cool. Okay. Uh -huh. that, one is, that, that one is helpful. That is so cool. All right. I'm glad to hear that. So, I don't know if you have a very, like, textual uh, question. Mm. Creería que pues por ahorita tengo casi la mayoría de cosas. Uh -huh. Básicamente le hemos comprendido la mayoría de estructuras que sí. hemos estado viendo. Right? Hasta ahorita sí. Ah, ok. Hasta sí. ahorita sí. All right, perfect. I'm glad to hear that. Me alegro escuchar eso, ¿eh? Entonces... Igual, pero igual, eh, ya sabemos que cualquier cosa que igual eh, no completamos, no comprendamos al 100%, siempre, siempre quiero que pregunten, ¿ok? Para que esas pequeñas dudas no se vayan generando y que después nos lleven a grandes dudas, ¿ok? Que de sí, porque a veces uno pues, le cuesta formar las oraciones porque quisiera encontrar las palabras adecuadas. Exactamente, y a veces... Por no preguntar, a veces uno se pierde de que alguien le, le, le diga qué palabra eh, sería la más adecuada y a veces ahí es donde un poco a poco se va como equivocando hasta, hasta en las oraciones y todo eso. Entonces, sí, nada más creo sí. que el, el miércoles perdí media hora porque se fue la luz y cayó una gran tormenta. <risa> ahí sí no me pude. Sí. Hey, ya estaba lloviendo fuerte por esa zona. Sí, he llovido casi todos los días. Pues... Qué genial. No, acá no, no, no sabemos qué es agua todavía en Oriente. Voy a hacer una buena cosecha. Uy, sí, ya me imagino. Sí. Nada, pero das, 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 das siempre sí. So, in that case, entonces siempre recordemos que vamos a mantenernos siempre en contacto. Cualquier cosa con relación a la clase. Eh, si no estamos en la clase, para eso tenemos el grupo siempre ahí, ¿ok? 
si hay algo que preguntar y pues yo no puedo contestar en el momento, pero nomás yo me desocupe, siempre reviso para siempre contestar o aclarar cualquier duda, ya sea con relación a la plataforma o algo siempre relacionado a la clase. ¿Ok? Ok. Ah, perfecto, Iván. Entonces, me espero que pues nos mantengamos practicando tal y como estamos. Vayamos practicando un poco más el vocabulario. Verá que va, va a ir teniendo un poco más de soltura al momento de hablar y todo. ¿verdad? That's going to be helpful, helpful yes. to you. ¿Ok? Cool. Okay. Bien, entonces, si no hay nada más que agregar, Iván, y espero que tenga un excelente fin de semana y nos vemos el próximo lunes. ¿Ok? Ok, gracias, igual. All right, perfect. Have a wonderful night. Bye, bye. Good night. Ok, bye.